Well, welcome to Introduction to Risk Management. What we're going to be doing during this course as is look at the whole um, plethora of topics around cybersecurity and specifically within that idea of how do we manage risk in information technology systems. And the reason we do this is because bad things happen. Uh, and sometimes those things are unexpected as the dreaded blue screen of death. And so risk management allows us to mitigate, to reduce, or to avoid, to transfer that risk to someone else. And so we're going to explore all of those different options for how we manage risk within a uh, particular uh, in information technology system. Here's the agenda that we're going to have for uh, Chapter 1 and what this video will do. This is the first of eight videos covering Chapter 1. Uh, this video is just going to cover uh, an introduction and give you a little bit about the professor and a little bit about uh, the course and what we're going to try to accomplish. In subsequent uh, videos, we'll get into some of the core definitions, design principles, uh, even do a little bit of uh, talk about two external articles uh, associated with risk management to bring everybody up to kind of a base level of uh, definitions that we're going to use within this course. All right, so a little bit on the uh, 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 instructor. I'm a retired Army colonel, uh, 27 years uh, in the Army, and 12 of those were at West Point, where I uh, started out as an instructor, rose to the academic rank of a uh, full professor, and then moved over to the evil side, became part of the administration at West Point, and left West Point as their uh, vice dean uh, after about 12 years. Um, after that, moved to the state of Georgia, where I was the vice chancellor for the state, responsible for the IT systems at 36 public uh, colleges and universities, so Georgia State, or Georgia Tech, UGA, so on and so forth. And then currently, I'm kind of in a, a dual role. My principal role is as the vice president and chief information officer at the University of Alabama uh, at Birmingham. I also uh, do teach. Uh, in the uh, Department of Computer Science there at UAB, and I teach at the J. Mac Robinson School of Business at Georgia State. Uh, so if you're watching this video, the, the odds are you're consuming the content in one of those last uh, two roles. Uh, here's the contact information for reaching out to me. Uh, as you can see, I've got email addresses there at uh, Georgia State or at UAB. Both of them are uh, valid for getting a hold of me. Uh, my cell number is listed. You're more than welcome to uh, text me at any time. If you call me, it's unlikely uh, that I'm going to answer the phone because you're going to be an alien, and I get called by uh, salespeople all the time. Uh, but if you text me ahead of time and say, hey, can we coordinate a time to uh, talk, we can definitely work something out. I'm easy to find on social media, so I'm Carver C at LinkedIn, Twitter, and Facebook. Uh, given you're a student and I'm a professor, LinkedIn and Twitter is probably cool. Facebook's a bit creepy, um, but LinkedIn and Twitter, it's easy to find me regardless. Uh, in my signature block, there's a uh, link to my faculty uh, website. If you want to learn more, you're more than welcome to uh, go explore uh, the website. And generally, my schedule is pretty full, as you might imagine, working two jobs, uh, but uh, I'm generally easily reached after uh, hours if you need to uh, chat with me about what's going on. So as we look at the course, uh, this is going to be a college level course. It is not a computer science course, so there's no programming in this course. Uh, but it gets into risk management information security and really explores it in areas that computer scientists can benefit uh, from. I'm a computer scientist, that's my background. Uh, but I think this is the next generation of what you're seeing in security organizations, a focus on risk and not on security and managing that risk. It's going to be a blended experience, so some of the stuff will be in the classroom, some of the stuff we'll do online. And it really just depends on the format by which the course is being offered. I've taught this course uh, ranging all the way from completely asynchronous, where we never meet, to uh, synchronous, where it's a more traditional classroom setting, to synchronous, where we meet, but only online. So uh, you can learn the material in any of those different formats, and the course will support any of those formats. And then finally, the idea behind the course is to make you functional in risk management. So we're, what we're going to do is explore four different frameworks, four very popular frameworks uh, for doing risk management, and, and get you comfortable in each of those four different frameworks. All right, well, enough about the uh, first video. Again, this is the first of eight videos uh, looking at Chapter 1. 
look forward to seeing you in the second video where we'll talk a little bit about the grading structure within the course.